Okay, uh, make sure when you get to the end of the runway, you can't your hip and uh, keep your shoulders back and think sex in the subway, sultry hot. Here, here, here. The music is way too loud. It's like a, it's like a rap concert out there. All right, shh, just chill, John. It's okay. Absolutely. We're already in production. Our people in Taiwan are ready to go on the Maxim 2 line. We can deliver, I promise. Where do you get the inspiration for your incredibly bold, sensual designs? Oh, from staying close to the street. I guess my muse was probably a courtesan in Genghis Khan's army. Do you think men will find your creations threatening? Oh, hopefully it'll bring the man out in them. So how does it feel to be the new darling of the fashion world? Well, it's better than being the turnip queen of Southern <laughs> Iowa, which I was in my last life. She's <laughs> always kidding around. This recognition is long overdue. We've worked very, very hard to stay ahead of the industry for years. Do you excuse us for a moment? Sure, thank, thank you. you. Knock it off. Come on, you gotta watch what you say to these people. You, you don't wanna come off like a couple of hicks. Come on, John, everyone loves a small town girl, makes good story. See the standing ovation they gave me? Mm -hmm. But you don't have to sell all the buyers in this room. It's like getting roughed off in a subway men's room. Speaking of buyers, how's it going? Just closed best set shops for a thousand unit test order. Yes. Okay. The only thing is, we have to deliver in sixty days. Can we do it? I think so. Oh come on, John. You can't think. You gotta know. We're in the big leagues now. I realize that. I've kept us afloat this far, haven't I? Okay. Okay. Have you seen Greg? Probably got trapped in the magnetic pull of his mirror. Ugh. Just stop dissing my man and go rustle us up some more business. Karen, come with me. I've got so much for you to meet. for a fashion shoot in New Guinea. Couldn't wait a day? You know how these things go. If you don't jump, you find someone else. This could be a huge break for me. Well, it's great. I'm really happy for you. Look, I'll be out the radar for a week or so, but I'm already looking forward to getting home and having another one of those beautiful shower sessions with you. <laughs> love you madly. I love you, too. All right, be safe. Bye. Driver, you want to hurry up? I'm running late here, man. Here on the left. Thank you.
great. Hey, Ray, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, Willie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, hey, listen. Is it true that Karen Maxim got raped? Go home, Willie. It's late. Oh, come on, Ray. Give me something. What's her condition? Uh, this is a private room. There's no visitor. Here's my invitation. She's too drugged to be answering questions right now. Looks like they're pretty free with the medication around here. <laughs> Two minutes, please. Come on, man. You know decency. Get out of here. It's okay. Miss Maxim, you're okay now. You're safe now. You're safe. You're safe. Pa pa pa. Here we are. Look, just so you know, I've... Sweetie, sweetie, I've changed... Karen, I've changed the locks. All the locks. Had deadbolts put on the door. And, uh... Oh, and, uh... Security bars? On, uh, all the windows. And, Karen, look. This right here. This right here. Okay, this... This connects you to the police station. All you have to do is you just push this button right there. You just push that, there's buttons right there under the, uh, under the island. And there's another, another one right there on the nightstand near the, uh, the bed there. Thanks for doing that. You okay? I mean, you need someone to stay with you when the interns? No, no, I let's just get back to work, you know, focused. If you need anything, Karen, seriously, anything at all. Okay, you just pick up a phone, you call me. I will I will have it sent right over. Okay. 
Any shoes, chocolate, ice cream, whatever. Fridge is stuffed with stuff. Oh, God, I mean, don't let anybody see you if you can. And do not talk to any reporters. What? Do I really look that bad? How sick can you get? I mean, sneaking in to your hospital room, I'll... I will sue the vultures broken blind, Karen. I will sue them. I guess I'm fair game now, huh? No, no, honey, no. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. We'll just, just... I'm just gonna keep you out of the public eye for a little while. Mm -hmm. Until you, you heal, okay? We can't have the buyers thinking that this has affected you. No way. No, I wouldn't give that dirtbag the satisfaction. Exactly. <sighs> Did you, did you order the, the sample yardage for fall? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah it's all and, and covered. And the broken studs? It's covered. Sweetie, I mentioned that at the hospital. You did? Mm-hmm. But that, that, that's okay. Listen, you just, you let me run the business. That's my Don't. job. Okay, I'll, I'm going to take care of everything. you got nothing to worry about. The only thing that you need to focus on is designing the fall line. Right? Right? Thanks, John. You're the best. I appreciate it. Uh, you get some rest, okay? I gotta, I gotta get back to the office. Make sure you lock up after me now, okay? And uh, the new keys. And get some rest. I will. Okay. Thanks. Daily Journal. I want to interview you for a human interest piece for our style section. You can reach me at 555-0974. Hey, it's Karen. You know what to do after the tone. You sinful bitch. You dress women up like a horse. You get what you deserve, you filthy harlot. Did you like it? I bet you did, slut. 
Who is it? Detective Loomis, I called earlier. Hold up your badge. Put the gun down. Well, hey, I have a permit for it. Did you arrest someone? Not yet. Well, listen, he just called. that traced. I need you to take me through what happened the other night. I already told the other officer everything. I'm just following up. Sometimes details, they pop back later. Have a seat. I don't remember much. I opened the closet door and he hit me and then everything just kind of went foggy. Sure you never seen him before? I need you to look at some photos of registered sex offenders. Can you do that for me? We're also checking out the guest list to your show. Think he could have followed you? It's possible. But he didn't look like an industry type. More like a thug. Even in his Brioni. His Italian suit. I know. Got a match? Um, the eyes are, are the same, but, um, the face is different. Uh, features aren't as blunt. Can you recall anything else? A physical detail like a mole or a tattoo? No, I told you my vision went blurry after... Victims usually recall more than they think they do. So what I need you to do, I sit back, relax, close your eyes, and see it again. Oh, is this really necessary? The more info we get, the better chances I got in catching them. It's okay, just take your time. I was in the shower and uh, the lights went out. I thought it was the metal head next door blew the fuse or something. So I wrapped a towel around myself and uh, I went to go check the, f the fuse box. I smelled this musky odor my cheap cologne and uh, I opened the closet door and there he was he hit, he hit me in the stomach and uh, then he he raised his arm, hit me again. And then I, I saw a sparkle. I saw a sparkle like a diamonds, like a diamond sparkle. He had, he had a ring on. He had a bag. Diamond pink earring on his left hand. And after he hit you? I don't know. I don't remember what happened. I kind of blocked it out. Okay. Thanks. I know that wasn't easy. Looks like it's pretty secure in here now. Yeah, my own little private jail cell. It's Japanese silk. 
You know your fabrics. What would she get for something like that? Uh, retail, about $1,200. Not much to show for a week's pay. Well, don't worry, we don't make them in your size. Call me if you remember anything else. I'm sorry about not being such a great hostess. I understand. What, what are your chances of catching him? Found a positive mugshot ID, 50%, if he's a habitual. What if he isn't? We'll do our best. I want these parasites prosecuted. I, I, don't, I don't care what the law says. Okay, I, I want them left lying on the courthouse floor bleeding from their wallets. Hang on, Karen just walked in. I'll call you back. What's wrong? The bottom feeders are already knocking us off. Midge found this at an L.A. flea market. It's low-grade Indonesian cotton garbage. Well, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, they obviously haven't even mistaken with someone who won't rip their throats out. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. How's the, uh, how's the phone line coming along? Um, my concepts keep shifting. I'm having trouble concentrating. Well, can't the doctor give you something? No. Drugs won't help. I need my, my mind clear. Karen, we really, really do ourselves on this one and we wowed him with the spring line that was great but now the fashion critics man they are gonna be looking for like the slightest little thing to trash us i know i'm aware of that i you know how difficult it is to be creative after what i've been through you want to know how sexy i feel it's okay no 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 no, no. look it's okay all right i got it covered don't have to worry about it i hired you an assistant no I've always done all the designing myself. Karen, we're not a mom and pop operation anymore. This is great. Karen Maxim's the name. They're my creations. And they stay your creations. Karen, all top designers delegate to their staff. She's good, all right? Nothing but the best. She's top of her class at FIT. Look, you still, you establish all concepts and you, and you have final approval over everything. Hey, you hungry? I got us reservations a tiny. No, no way. I'm not up for that. I still look like I'm post-op from a facelift. Evan, you look great, but you have to resurface. Karen, all the speculation and rumor is hurting our sales. I mean, you know the thin margin we're riding on here. Sergio Guzman, he's the biggest schmata dude in El Salvador. He's wooing our Maxim 2 line. John, I don't want our company associated with any sweatshop shh, 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 operation. Shh, shh, relax, Wayne. It's okay. It's a better motion loser. You okay?
Lewis, please. Carry Maxim. Detective, I just saw the man that attacked me. No, he's on he's on 40, on 43rd at the Fairmont. Okay. He's just around the corner. He's, I don't know. I'm in the lobby. I just... Okay, okay. I'll be right there. Close by, right? Please hurry. Thank you. Over. Make sure it's correct. Miss Maxim, I need the perp. Mm. My office, Loomis. You too. Please. Miss Maxim. Come, have a seat. Miss Maxim, this is Margaret Dalt. She's a business associate of Gerald Morris, the man you've accused of assaulting. She claims she can provide an alibi for him on the night you were attacked. Gerald Morris and I are in the land development business. We were in southern Louisiana looking for possible sites for our shopping mall. We were there the whole week. Oh, he's the man who attacked me on March 14th. I know that must have been a, a very stressful time for you, Miss Maxim. But Mr. Morris was with me that evening. I looked him right in the face. I mean, it, it's him. He has no prior criminal record. I'm positive. He's the one. Gerald Morris is a highly respected man in our profession. A charge of this nature could cause him considerable loss of income and reputation. He could sue you, Miss Maxim. What company do you work for? Prime State Land Development. Our office is in the same building where Miss Maxim made her accusation. You know, I'd like to make a phone call, please. In private. Thanks. Right over here. We didn't have trouble with this job. No, I can no trouble, Sir Joe. I don't need her approval. I, I take care of all the business decisions. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yeah. John, it's me. Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm... Sergio and I are just finishing out. I'm at the police station. Are you okay? No, I'm all right. John, I saw the man that attacked me. Where? I'm here trying to press charges, but he, he has some woman vouching for him. She says that she can prove that they were out of town, but John, I know it's him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Take it easy, take it easy. Okay, my, my, Karen, you're positive it's him. Yes, but she says she can prove that they were together. Uh, listen, sweetheart, we, we, got, we got to really be careful here, because, I mean, if it turns out not to be the guy, who we can't break his alibi. I mean, it could really hit the fan. John, I'm not crazy. Okay, I, I know that, sweetheart. I know that, and I believe you. I believe you, okay? we got to be careful. Karen, this, 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 this guy, okay, could turn around and see our asses in the bank. I'm dropping charges. Greg! <laughs> Greg! It's just me, baby. Hey, what happened to your face? Why didn't you call me? I tried, Carrie. Cell phones don't work in the jungle. What's up? My keys wouldn't work. I have the locks changed. You're not trying to tell me something, are you? I missed you. I missed you too. You know who 
that door, or do I have to kick it down? So, what's with the security bars? I'm a woman living alone. Hey, I'm here to protect you now. <sighs> Thought I was gonna go wacko in that buck pit of a jungle. The only thing that kept me going was fantasies of getting wild and sexy with you. We'll turn off our phones. Come on, Greg, please, I... I... And get lost in each other for a week. <laughs> no! So, when I woke up, I was in the hospital. Should have been here. It's not your fault. I mean, you could have attacked me anywhere. I never thought anything like this could happen. <sighs> Think I did? You should get checked out. For, you know. Yeah, they did that at the hospital. Is this going to be a problem for us? No. No, it's just... I just need some time to get used to it. I'm away for 10 days and I come home to find some piece of garbage just hurt my woman and put Why her in the hospital. Why is this about you? What? Something like this affects the both of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my getting attacked has uh, spoiled your plans. Whoa, I am not the enemy, Karen, okay? I didn't make this happen. I had a great opportunity to drop in my lap and I went for it. Anybody else would have done the same thing. Look, I met a top agent on the flight back. She's gonna hustle me some work for the big European mags. Great. I'm really happy for you. Don't be like that. Be like what? You haven't even asked me how my show went. I bust my ass for 10 years and I finally get my big break and all I wanted was the person who's supposed to mean the most to me to be there. I've been playing second fiddle to your career since we hooked up. I've got dreams of my own, and I need to pursue them. Oh, that is not fair. I have never expected you to put your career on hold for me, and you know that. Maybe I should stay in my place for a while. Till I get clear on things. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea.
right here, man. <laughs> well, 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 well. We're in the presence of royalty. Former Super Cup Ray Loomis. Hey, Ray, bust any weenie waggers today? <laughs> What's it like being back amongst the mere mortals? No more cocktail parties with the mayor? No more models copying your joint in the back of the limo? How's it feel knowing that your partner's in a wheelchair because of you? I figure if Grady could move his foot, kick your ass. Maybe you'd like to try it yourself there, Hawthorne. Maybe I would. Well, how about now, punk? You what? Hey, you don't knock the left, Who are you talking to? Oh, knock you off, man. I don't give a talk to you like that. Do the department a favor and go smoke your gun. No, get off me, man. Get it right. Detective Loomis, I want to press charges against Morris. He just attacked me in my parking garage. You saw him again? He was masked, but I know it was him. Okay, we can't charge someone if you don't see him. If you are not going to arrest him, then I, I will go to the feds. My life is in danger. I need protection. Okay. We're going to need you to sign a complaint. Fine. Are you okay? Cap, you got a minute? Come. Karen Maxim is pressing assault charges against Morse. I thought we'd convinced her to drop the charges. She's threatening to go to the feds. I need to know what's going on here, sir. What are you doing here? Karen Maxim trusts him. He needs to know the situation. Special Agent Dalton. This is the Northeastern Anti-Terrorism Task Force Unit. I'm the agent in charge. We're the ones who broke the case against the Holland Tunnel terrorists. I don't have to tell you, these are tense times. We're still playing catch-up, trying to root out sleeper cells before they activate. What does this got to do with Karen Maxim? The major challenge has been turning one of the terrorists. We needed a high-level insider who could directly implicate the others. We finally found one. As Lambic as a Konoff, now known as Gerald Morris. From nose, chin, hairline, earlobes, ten pounds heavier. His own mother wouldn't know him. Well, if he's a protected snitch, how did he get free to attack Karen Max? They had to cut him a sweetheart deal. You better tell him. As a condition for his testifying, as a Konoff demanded that we leave him on the street. We agreed within certain parameters, but he has to make contact with us every day. Since when does a witness get to call his own shots? Special Agent Dalton? He had us by the short hairs, Detective. With this war on terror, Washington has been all over us to produce big results, as O'Connor was the only one we had to deliver the goods. He proved that by helping us take down the tunnel terrorists. He has given us invaluable insight into how these cells operate. Since nobody but myself and my closest aides know what he looks like, there wasn't any danger in leaving him on the street. But he's a sexual predator. I made a judgment call. Look at the big picture, detective. It's a question of greater or lesser evils. Stopping the terrorists from destroying the Holland Tunnel saved thousands of lives. We need his testimony in court if we're going to put them away. Special Agent Dalton assures us they're pulling him back into protective custody. When? It's in process. Yeah. Want me to tell Karen Maxim that? The question now is that she doesn't jeopardize the Holland Tunnel court case. What are you going to do, have her hit? Hey, that's enough, detective. The commissioner is aware of the situation. He has instructed me to give the task force our complete cooperation. What am I supposed to tell her? That's up to you. Just stall her. For how long? Until Azakonov's finished testifying. Then we'll move him out of town. Oh, then you can cut him loose on more unsuspecting citizens? Excuse us. This stinks, Captain. I need you to be a team player on this, Loomis. Your stock in the department has about bottomed out, and you need all the friends you can get.
tell me. How did Asla Karloff know Karen Maxim? For cover, we set him up as a West Coast fashion wholesaler. He needs to get into our show. Nice. Seen you somewhere before? Mm -hmm. Your face looks really familiar. Actress, right? Sorry. Uh, I'm expecting someone. Here I am. I'm holding something. It'll take you to another galaxy. Then why don't you blast off without me? Well, the salty babes turn me on. And total losers turn me off. And I never take no for an answer. The lady says no. Hey, what's going on, man? You don't look so good. You just go walking off. I really hurt. He'll get over it. Did you arrest him? Not yet. You mean you lost him? The captain instructed me to assure you we're doing everything we can to find him, okay? The phone. Did you trace his phone number? Pay phone in Grand Central. What I don't understand is why that woman would vouch for him. Yeah, we're checking that out, too. How long do you think it's going to take to find him? It's hard to say. He could have left town. No. No, he's still here. Yeah, I gotta get going. Um, can I drop you somewhere else? Yeah. Check, please. Is something wrong? No. Resentful, like this is a burden on you or something. I play the hand, I get dealt. You got dealt me. I appreciate what you did back at the captain's office. You knew she was lying, didn't you? I'm just trying to gather up more information so I can check your story out. She knew that you knew. I could see it in her eyes. Why he's doing this to me? I've never even met him before in my life. We don't know for sure that it was Morris. Oh, I know. Do you got anybody you can stay with? I didn't even tell my parents about what happened. You should. They're in Iowa. I don't want to worry them. They come rushing into town. Call my business partner, John. Hey, it's me. Look, I need your help. You need help? I'm the one who needs help, Karen. You know, we, we, we got a balloon payment that's due on the new machines tomorrow, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm scratching for pennies here, trying to pull it out of my butt. And the Malaysians are, tr are trying to pull a bait and switch. It's okay, um, I understand. It's fine. That's yeah. No, it's not a big deal. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I'll call you tomorrow. He's been under a lot of stress lately. Anyone else? Can you just take me to a hotel? It's not exactly Trump Towers, but it's safe and relatively quiet. Most of the tenants, they're cops. Look, I don't want to put you out. Oh, I'll just sleep on my mom's couch. She lives upstairs. There's the phone. The TV. 
There's the bar. Help yourself. Here's the bathroom. Okay. That's my cell number. There's not much in the fridge. So I'll, uh, I'll go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries in the morning. And pick up some of your clothes. You gonna be okay? Yeah. All right. I got a report. Lock up after me. And call me if you need anything. talk to you now what is it somebody trashed care maxim's loft last night it wasn't as Yeah, huh? you're out developing property right where is she now where she's safe well then go back and stick with her i don't work for you dalton special agent dalton don't let me call your captain mm. you want to use my cell phone i'll dial don't try to chest me Loomis. i'll eat you for lunch i checked you out you're a pariah in your own department. Just get your sicko through his recital and out of town. Hey, Ray. I'm in here. Hey. Hey. I'm not sure what you wanted, so I uh, just threw whatever I could find in here. I'm sure I could mix and match a couple things. Thank you. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's Morris. I thought maybe you could use it. That's good. We already got his mic shot. I need to go to my office. Okay, okay. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Captain Bernie ordered me to guide you for the next few days. Can hear the Paris invoices, you guys. Please. Where have you been? I'm up to my button alligators here. 
John, please don't start with me. My life hasn't exactly been peachy. This is Detective Lemus. Yeah, we met in the hospital. Yeah, uh, I need to talk to you right now. Okay. Find out his license, please! What's with the cop? He's assigned to protect me. Oh, great. That's great. The man who attacked me is still out there stalking me. So, what, so you're gonna go to the fashion awards with, with, with some flat-footed and a Robert Hall suit? John, my life is in danger. So is our company, Karen. The Malaysians are trying to gouge us. Look at this, for an extra dollar per unit. We are stretched way over our credit limit. One canceled order, Karen. We are in Chapter 11. I got, I got bill collectors. They're coming out of the walls, Karen, like roaches. I don't understand. How can we be so broke? Because you don't understand squat about the business, sweetheart. It's not about just parties and shows and, and plane flights to Paris, okay? I'm putting out fires here 24-7. Okay, jumping at each other's throats is not going to help anything. I'm under police protection until they can find this maniac. So we're just going to have to work around it, okay? Mr. Aslakanov. Who else was present when you discussed plans to collapse the Holland Tunnel? Zolovich and Taramasov. Would you please point them out for the record? Let the record show the witness has identified the defendants Rizolovich and Taramasov. This is a good time to break. We'll continue with the witness testimony tomorrow. Court will reconvene at 10 a.m. You're good. For a girl. I didn't say that. No, but you were thinking it. <laughs> My dad gave me this gun before I went to the city. A lot of good it did me. <sighs> nice. You thought about maybe taking a vacation, distancing yourself from all this? Can't leave now. Company troubles? Yeah. You know, your partner has a substance problem. Hey, I'm just making an observation. What you do with it is your own business. I figured when we got stable, I'd get him into a rehab. Right now, I need him. Can't design full time and run the business. Can't be a dreamer and a whipcracker, too. I guess I'm not really good at facing reality. Live in these little fantasies I create in my head. You know, you're lucky. How do you deal with it? The ugliness, day in and day out. Just try not to think about it. But what if the pictures won't go away? Nice to meet you, Mrs. Loomis. What a pretty girl. Better than all those floozies with the rear ends hanging out of their dresses. Mom, I told you she's not my girlfriend. She's just spending a few days here. I got roast beef. Oh, you hungry? Yeah. Good. <laughs> this was Ray's favorite dinner when he was a boy. Still is, Mom. It's delicious. Where are you from, dear? You don't sound like a New Yorker. I was raised in Iowa, corn country. <laughs> as far from Main Streets as it gets. <laughs> oh, why did you give that up to come here? Mm. 
Ever since I was a little girl, I was enchanted by Manhattan, you know, the Big Apple. I used to buy all the fashion magazines and fantasize that I was Donna Karen or Gloria Vanderbilt. Karen designs clothes, Mom. She owns her own company. Oh, oh, nice. So, how did you meet my son? I was uh, helping her out with some... I was assaulted, and he's handling my case. What a sick world. When I was a young girl, we used to sleep in the park on warm summer nights. Now you can't take your garbage out without getting mugged. Ray's father was a policeman, too. He was decorated by Mayor Koch for saving three children from a burning school bus. Did Ray tell you he was first in his class at the police academy? That's ancient history, Ma. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Thanks. I'm going back upstairs now. Thank you for a wonderful meal. My pleasure, dear. You catch that sick man. I'm trying, Ma. Be right up. Oh, no hurry. Take your time. Sorry about that. I just need to get some clothes. So if you were first in your class, why aren't you handling high-profile cases instead of babysitting me? I guess it's none of my business. I used to be in robbery homicide. Broke a big case early in my career and became one of the department's rising stars. Then I screwed up. Can I ask what happened? My partner, Mike Grady, and I cornered an armed robbery suspect. I came out firing. I had a clean shot, but I hesitated. Mike's in a wheelchair now. I've been out partying the night before. Got caught up in the scene. Beautiful girls, clubs. I was way out of my league. So why don't you wear those nice suits? That's not me anymore. What do you think the chances are of catching Morris? Honestly. Skills like him, they commit the same crimes over and over again. Sooner or later, we're gonna get him. When someone's attacked, do you think that they must have done something to deserve it? No. Listen, you didn't do anything to deserve what happened to you, okay? I just can't help feeling that way. I know. I had this breakthrough as a designer, and then this nightmare. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't dump any of this on you. Most of the people I deal with, they expect bad things to happen to them. It's tougher on people like you. Once they still have dreams. Check on you in the morning, okay? Thanks. Right. I just, I want to tell you how much I appreciate everything you've done for me. They were never trying to help me. It was all a scam. Ms. Maxim, you know, there's dozens of trials that go on in all the various courts. I know most of the big cases, and 
name Morris doesn't ring a bell. Uh, the woman who vouched for him, uh, she seemed like a, a government type. Mm -hmm. I can get one of my researchers on it. But, you know, it may take days, and the trial could be over by then. Who's that? That's as Lumbeck as Lakanoff, the Fed's key witness in the tunnel terrorist trial. He's a protected government informant. Why is he wearing a hood? The judge allowed it. Even though the feds gave him a new face, so his buddies can't find him. What do you mean new face? Like of a plastic surgery? Yeah. That's Lakanov. I've seen that name before. Well, it's been in all the papers. That's him. That's him. That's Morris. How can you be sure? The ring. The diamond pinky ring. That's his. Karen. Hey Karen, you feel like a copy? can verify this just detective loomis i guess and he's part of the cover-up don't you believe me i do but the paper won't let me print it without corroboration but the morris or whatever his name is he's an animal and he belongs in jail honey in an ideal world they'll all be in jail but in this one the dirt bags hold all the legal aces are you suggesting that i just let him go free I'm saying truth and justice don't often sleep together. Mr. Aslakanov, you've testified you procured explosives for the terrorist cell. Were you told to what purpose they would be put? Zolovich told us they would be used to blow up the center structure of the Holland Tunnel. And did he reveal to you how this would be accomplished? Uh, he bought a big rig truck plan was to pack it with high explosives that would be detonated at the tunnel's midpoint. And who was supposed to drive the truck? I was. And this was acceptable to you? <laughs> Die such a violent death in that pursuit of death. raped me. I want him arrested. Remove that person from the courtroom. He should be in jail. He's a monster. The federal agents know what he's doing. You can't treat me like that. Either you let me out of here right now or I want to speak to my attorney. I know who you are. And if you think you can cover this up, you are crazy. I will go to every television station in this country and I will expose you. Ms. Maxim, the government deeply regrets the pain and anguish this has caused you. And we would be open to making some form of reasonable restitution. Reasonable restitution? Do you know what it's like to be raped and beaten in your own home? To have your possessions destroyed? To live in fear that some monster is going to attack you again? We realize there are losses that money can't compensate for. You don't realize anything. You just want me to shut up. There's a larger picture you need to understand. Those men on trial are terrorists. They're instruments of mass destruction. They plotted to kill thousands of people. 
as Akanov is the only one who can help us convict them. Then why don't you keep him in a jail cell? I don't have to justify our procedures to you. I just want you to understand our side and hopefully reconcile yourself to it. How can I reconcile myself to knowing that he is roaming the streets free? You should know that. I'm a federal law officer. I do the job I was trained to do. This won't happen again, you have my word. Don't you tell it to the media. Ms. Maxim, I'm trying to be as understanding and as fair as I can. But if you force me, I have other options at my disposal. Legal options. You can't charge me with anything. You just made threatening gestures at a protected government informant. I could have you committed for observation. Don't try and intimidate me. I want my lawyer now. Have it your way. manager would like to speak to you. John? Karen, Karen, let's, let's... There's Elliot Ness and the Untouchables are ransacking our office right now. They're, they're going through all our files. <laughs> okay, this is... You know, you think, you think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid? You, th you think I don't know what you just did? You don't... You, okay, you cannot come into somebody's just private business like this and, and do... You hand me a piece of paper? You don't think I have rights? If you'd still like to talk to your attorney, I can arrange that. What do you want from me? Cooperation. Spell it out. You take a two-week vacation to the islands at government expense. When you come back, the trial will be over, and Azakhanov will be out of your life. What about my company? What about John? If you play ball, all your current problems will vanish. Unless you decide to hold them over my head. Ms. Maxim, the government isn't in business to bully and intimidate honest citizens. But we do have a responsibility to protect the common interest. What do you know about common interest and responsibility? You hide behind your power and you make decisions with no thought of how it'll affect people's lives. I hope you'll believe I sincerely regret the pain and anguish this has caused you. Why don't you stop being a badge for just a minute and be a woman? Feel what it's like to go through what he did to me. Do you really want that to happen to another woman? I'll have our people drive you to the airport. I need to stop by my office to get my passport. Fine. Karen! Karen, I'm sorry. Let me explain. Get away from me, Ray. Karen, please. You don't understand, Karen. Please. Karen! You can just wait here. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Where's my password? Um, do you know where my password is? Oh, forget it. Does anyone know where my passport is? I just had it. Um, maybe I, I, I left it in the desk. C can you help me look for it? I don't know where I put it.
Where'd she go? She went back this way, didn't she? Well, you're supposed to be watching. You were supposed to be watching. Okay. Okay. We'll handle any flack from the media. Yes, sir. What the hell was Karen Maxim doing in your apartment last night? Hiding from Dalton's psycho snitch. Why wasn't this cleared with me? I made a judgment call. Your judgment sucks. You've gone way off procedure here, Loomis. You've left us with our butts hanging out. Ah, oh, that's what this is all about, right? Forget about the law, just make sure that we're covering our asses with the face. You think I like playing second string to that ball buster and her Boy Scouts? I do it because I'm a team player! This case is bigger than Karen Maxim. Sometimes civilians get hurt in the pursuit of justice. That's the way it goes. The greater good gets served, we move on! Your inability to keep personal involvement out of it has jeopardized public welfare. You're suspended. Without pay. Pending a departmental hearing. In case you care, Mike Grady's surgery didn't work. Last night, he got himself into the car, rolled up the windows, and blew his brains out. Mr. Aslakanov, was there anyone else present besides Grizolovich and Taramasov when the explosives were delivered to you? Zamlut. To please point him out for the record. any longer till I get a new face. We can't get a postponement while you have plastic surgery. That is your problem. I'm through babying you, Eslikhanov. You brought all this heat on yourself. From now on, you follow the book. Well, maybe I'll recant my testimony. <laughs> you listen to me, you low-life piece of scum. You like abusing women? Try me. You'll go along with the program, or I'll personally mail your ass back to Al-Qaeda. From now on, you address me as Special Agent Dalton. And lose the gay boy body wash. You reek. I have to use the bathroom, Special Agent Dalton. Again? Yes. Make it quick. Get the vehicles ready. We're putting Azakanov in the armored carrier. We can't take any chances. As a Conos new idea is compromised, I'll need two more backup teams. We're moving them. We're ready downstairs. No, we're not. I just called for more backup. Go get them out of the men's room. Dalton. Well, who put it there? Well, go find her! He's not in there. What? He went out the window.
Now that would be a real public service. This just in. We have breaking news. Let's go live to the federal courthouse. Tom, some shocking news. We've just learned that Aslanbek Aslakanov, a key government witness in the Holland Tunnel terrorist trial, has vanished. Aslakanov was set to testify here at the federal courthouse. And as of moments ago, officials report that they have no information as to his possible whereabouts. But we will continue to keep you updated as this situation continues to unfold. Tom, back to you. I want people covering all his old hangouts. I've had civilian reports of a woman matching carrying Maxim's description handing those out in the Crown Heights area. Pick her up. Wait. Leave her out there. doing with that gun? They're after me. Who? The feds. No, John, I already fixed all that. It's fine. The feds are cool. It's not my fault. Okay, I just, can I just borrow the money? Just a little bit. I was going to pay it right back. I swear to God, I was going to pay it right back. Right after we delivered on the orders, I was going to pay it right back. I swear. Don't panic. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just give me the gun. I, I, I can't go to jail. No, you're not going to go to jail, John, I promise. Look, I'll, I'll tell him it was a loan. They'll never believe you. Look, I'll have Larry write up the loan. He can, he can backdate it. Just, just keep hearing everything. Everything's just, just going so great. But then, but then if, you just, if you just hadn't have been attacked, none of this would have happened. I had everything covered. You know, I, I had everything covered. But then, 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 then the, the, the buyer started. Started failing, and then the factory strike. I, I can't tell you where. John, John, look at me. John, you're supposed to be my friend. You don't say that. You are a liar. I am just the guy who who who, who takes all the flack while you bask in all the glory. You know, you're not my friend. You, you treat that mannequin better than you treat me even with a cleaver in his head. How did you know about that? I never told. You? You did this? Why? I thought maybe I could scare you away. I could never hurt you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hurt you. I never would want to hurt you, but it's my company too, Karen. Mine. I'm just as responsible for our success. Seriously, you never would have made it this far without me. And now you're you're wrecking, you're wrecking everything that I worked for. This was my chance. John, these are the drugs talking, okay? Just give me the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna get you into a rehab. I'll stand by you. I promise. No, no it's happening. Why would you do that? Because I care. Because you're my best friend. Just, just, just give me the gun. Come on. It's okay. I'm sorry. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It's fine. I don't care about the place. Just give me the gun. Let go of it. Let go of the gun. John, no. Put the gun down. Karen, are you okay? Do not be in the middle of this, Karen. Ray, please. John. Karen, you tricked me. You... You, you and you and him, I, I planted it to, to get rid of me. Put the gun Guys, down. Shut up! And let's talk. You shut up! You don't say anything. You don't say anything. Why would you do that? 
all. I love you. Now! I saved his life. I'm sorry that I lied to you. It doesn't matter anymore. It matters to me. They wanted to suspend me pending a departmental hearing. So I quit. I can't play by the rules anymore. Looks like the party's already started. Oh, don't worry, my category isn't until later. You look sharp in that suit. Thanks for coming with me. Pleasure's all mine. Maybe I should take a minute, freshen up. Okay. I'll wait here for you, right? shows up, I don't want you in the way. Terrorist was raping and beating Karen Maxson, watching Chicky outside her window. to kill you before you pull trigger a bullet will smash the bone between your eyes i'll take out those clothes here okay 
Hey, I'm okay. Move! Get out of the way! You safe? You safe? You better call your spin doctors. design collection you just won what do you know a fairy tale ending 